Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. And in this video, we are solving a problem set to us by one of our channel members. And what they were after was a timer that they can use that counts down to a particular event, which, uh, which may or may not be happening, could be any particular event. And we've looked at a number of different ways of doing it and been round in the houses and, and looked at a simple calendar and things. And while a lot of those can do simple calendar, for example, absolutely, you can have things that pop up in the calendar, you know, when you reach that certain time and day and stuff. And that's all great, but it doesn't give you a countdown timer. So after looking at a number of things, we've come back to Ripper's hurry up combat timer. Now we don't want a timer for in combat, <laughs> so the fact it's called combat timer, um, I avoided it at first, but bit of investigation, we can use it outside of combat. Um, it was a little bit janky, but Ripper's fixed it for us because because <laughs> it didn't quite work. There's been a few changes. So if you've already got the hurry up combat timer installed, you will be able to do this too, but you will need to update your module. He's updated it literally about 20 minutes ago um, to make sure this function works once more. So we've got a whole bunch of options here, but if you want to use this timer out of combat, but not in combat, you can disable the timer. Okay, so it's not going to work in combat if that's disabled. How we kick this off is really simple with a macro. And that macro only needs to say combat timer dot create, and then the number of seconds you want that timer to run for. So if you want it in minutes, well, just if it's like 20 minutes, times that by 60, that gives you the number of seconds that you need. If you want it in hours, times it by 60 again, uh, and that's going to give you the number of seconds. And this will run game time, or rather, um, it will run real time when your game is unpaused. Um, I did report a bug to him and he quite embarrassingly pointed out I had my game paused, which is why the counter wasn't working. Um, so yeah, all good fun. So I have got this um, in here and I've got mine set to 20 seconds for the video purposes because I'm going to show you a couple of things in 20 seconds once I kick this off. So this simple macro, that's all it is. Now bearing in mind because it is a macro anywhere in Foundry that can kick off a macro, can kick this off. So you can attach macros to weapon attacks and spell attacks and um, monks active tile triggers, you know, fall in a pit or whatever it might be, you can attach it to that and it will kick it off. Let me show you what it does. So when I execute this, I've got a timer in the top right hand corner that is counting down. Now if I quickly, because I'm running out of time, I change scene, it comes with me. It doesn't matter if I change scene, which is pretty much perfect for what our user wanted it for. And it times out and gives us a little bloop noise at the end. Um, because we can change scenes and things, it means you can use it across multiple scenes, counting down to a particular event. You might say something like, you've got 20 minutes real time to find your way out of the dungeon. And that might be across different scenes and everything else. Uh, that timer is going to carry on running and they need to actually get a jolly on <laughs> and not hang about. So I'm really hoping that this is the solution that... Uh, that uh, that person was looking for. Just going back to the settings, I've got mine set on sand as that hourglass, but you might find a circle that just kind of counts down, or digits, so it's literally a number that counts down, might be, might be more to your preference. Um, but it absolutely does work. It is really nice and slick. Now the only thing that um, is slightly problematic is uh, at the moment, I'm not sure how to get rid of it. Um, <laughs> so that it stays up there at the moment. It doesn't automatically disappear. So I will have a little chat with Ripper and just say, hey, look, you know, it needs a, a cross in the top corner or something like that. I can move it, but I can't necessarily, uh, I can shrink it. I can't actually get rid of it at the moment. So um, it either needs to disappear once it's finished 
uh, or uh, give us a, an, a way to close that. So I will be asking him to do that. That would be really nice. Now, of course, in its original form with in combat, it would reset at the end of that uh, that combat round anyway. So it might be a pretty easy thing just to get sorted. But I hope that helps. I hope that's uh, something that might be of interest to people if you want to use it. There it is. Lovely jubbly. And uh, that's it. Short video. Take care, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.